How are you? This is Oliver Fernandez with The Imperfect Entrepreneur. Today we're going to talk about how to not get bullied around by your team members as the business owner. So this past week has been a little crazy. I think I always say that, but uh, um, we, my little man got had like an upper respiratory virus and um, I had to bring him to the doctors and he, he had like this nebulizer. It was like you know, crazy. Uh, but now he's feeling a lot better and, uh, he's, he's, he's working through that, that virus. And, um, it looks like we're on the other end of it. So over the last like couple weeks, maybe, uh, even a month or so, two months, um, I've had like a couple interactions with team members about compensation, about how much they want to get paid and working toward a way to align the team as a whole towards the results that we want in our business versus just like, yeah, you know, like inflation's happening. I I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a raise to combat inflation. Like, like the business needs a raise too, right? Like that's not how things work. Like the way things work is when you're in alignment, you're moving in the same direction with each other. So like, yeah, you, you want to make more money? Like, well, these are the ways you can add more value to the organization to be able to generate more money. And the ways you can add more value to the organization are going to be ways where like, there is no cap on how much you, you can make. Like, like why don't, don't like the, the thing that I always have to remind myself about is like, Oliver, stop trying to get a, a fixed amount when you can just get an unlimited amount. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you have a team member that wants a, you know, a 3% raise, right. And say they're, you know, say they're making, let's just even use an example of, of uh, $50,000, right? And they want a 3% raise. Okay, well, 1% is 500 bucks, so they want another $1,500. And, like, come on, dude. Like, that's not even gonna pay your, that's not even gonna pay your rent. Whereas, like, we set this thing up the right way, you can make $1,500 a week or $1,500 a month additional. At the end of the year, that $1,500 is now worth 18 is eighteen thousand dollars to you, versus just going after the the fix and the guarantee and the and, and thinking there's certainty in that. So, walking through this with my team members, I had a conversation with one team member, and you know it was it was a it was a um, you know it was yeah I totally get it, totally understand, totally I didn't even think about it like that. Want to I definitely want to move it in a different direction. Then we had another team member that actually didn't come directly to me, but they came to uh, one of our one of our supervisors, and they and they 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 got upset because we had posted a job posting, and the job posting was higher than what they were making, and and you know there was so much there was so much like anxiety in the team member, and I was like, man, this is we got to handle this, and, and the way we handle this is actually really simple. It's really simple. Like in our job description, we tell the team member, it didn't say like, this is the going right. It said up to, what does up to mean? Well, if the person comes in and adds value and does more things and like, can we, we can, we can, we can show, we can show the result that they're creating. Yeah. We're willing to pay them up to that amount. You're getting paid a fixed amount, right? You have a base of a fixed amount. But you also have the same exact incentive. What you're trying to do is you're trying to bake your bake bake in a, a, a full guarantee when that's just not how the game works. Like if you're not coming in and you're not adding value, if you're not, and what I mean by adding value, that's a really broad statement. But it's like, are you driving revenue? Are you are you are you really servicing customers? And then and then if you're servicing customers, how many customers are you servicing? Like come in and provide that and say like, Hey, Oliver, this past week I serviced over 200 customers and the, in the, in the, in the, the standard for this office is to service 50 customers. Then, and you're asking for a raise, like, dude, you're crushing it. You're killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's put you in, let's, let's put you in for a raise, but don't do the exact same thing. And then think like, Oh, I want to get a raise. Especially when we already have incentives built into the organization where if you just were to execute on those incentives, you're going to get your raise and way more than it. Like, I don't want to cap anybody. There's people in the organization that literally, literally have, have doubled their income because of the incentives. 
Why are they doubling their income? Well, they're 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 doing whatever it takes to get the result. They're servicing more clients. They're they're getting more proposals out. They're getting more proposals signed. They're 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 making sure their margins are correct. Like those are the people that are going to get the results. And I'm like I'm so glad we 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 rolled out those incentives in the organization because it really separates the top performers from people that are just coming to work and. I'm doing so much. I feel like I'm doing so much, but they're really not. They're like, yes, like they're, they're great team members, but they're not adding the type of value that is needed in organization for it to be successful. Like there's so many things going on in a business. If you're just going to do one plus one, like sometimes there is a nuance and you got to be able to adjust and understand and think. Uh, what that nuance is, what that, how to address that nuance. And if, if you're not, then like, don't get mad at the organization. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at the rest of the team members that are doing those things and then being able to, to, to align their, their financial goals with their personal goals. And they're actually hitting them because they're, they're doing the things that the organization needs to do. It's kind of like taxes, right? Like everybody's all, you know, most people will be like, Oh, tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich. And when you really think about it, the rich are actually doing what the IRS wants them to do. They're, they're investing in, in solar and getting tax credits. They're investing in housing and getting tax credits. They're doing these things that the IRS is telling them to do legally to reduce their taxable income. And if someone's not doing it legally, ethically, or morally, then great. Yes, I agree. That person needs to be put in jail. That person needs to get, get what's deserving of them. So we just got to be in alignment. And like, for me, it's just like such a, it's such a, it's such a hot topic because I've been bullied around before. I've been, I've had employees or team members come to me and say, Hey, if you don't give me this, I'm going to quit. And then I was just like, so intimidated by that whole process that I was like, okay, here you go. Take it. You know, that's like, but like, dude, that person didn't add any more value. They didn't do anything more. They didn't, you know, honestly, they don't respect the organization because I just gave them what they wanted instead of, instead of aligning them with the organization and telling them, Hey, this is what the organization needs for it to be able to pay you this much more money. And then them doing it and then them getting paid that money. Now they feel good about it. Now they feel like they've actually deserve it. Right. Whereas like you, sometimes you get people in the organization that say, I deserve to make just as much as money as what you've, you've paid, posted online. I've been here for eight years. Well, have you been doing the same thing for eight years or have you continued to add value each year you've been here? That's the question you really need to ask yourself instead of saying you deserve more money. You need to ask yourself, have you been adding more value every year you've been in the organization? And then is that value that you've been adding, how is that translating into results in the organization? If you're just working more hours just to work more hours, like that doesn't translate into results. Like, are, are you work? Are you are you are you actually producing a result in the organization? Uh, more, more customers, a satisfied more satisfied customers, more proposals, a higher margin. You know, what are you doing in the organization that's actually adding value? And then we can talk about raises and making more money. All of those things. I had another team member that, like, literally, I want two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Like, dude, like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you to make that. I want to show you how to make that. I cannot wait to show you how to make that. Right. But at the same time, we need to build something for you to be able to make that. Right. It doesn't just happen overnight. There's a process to that. And I can show you exactly what to do to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I I I I know how to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars for myself. That's why I can exactly show you how to make two hundred fifty grand, right? And what are we going to need? We're going to we're going to need way more project management out of you. We're going to need you to be over a bunch of projects. I'm not just working one job, right? 
or one job for two years and thinking that it's going to take care of me. Like we got, we got 10 and 20 jobs going on at all times. And then on the flooring side of the business, we got, we did over 800 jobs in the first six months of the year. So like you, you don't just get to where you want to get to by one job. So if you're just working on one job and it's not a complex job. It's nothing complicated about it. It's just getting in there, getting out there. Yes, you are doing a great job. You're you're getting your daily reports in. You're taking pictures. You're managing the subcontractors. You're you're handling the badging. You're doing all those things. That is great. Pat on the back. I am super excited for you. And 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 you're getting compensated extremely well to be able to do that. But the next level is you want to make you want to make bigger money. You need to add more value to the organization, and that means running multiple projects at the same time. That means helping to build, find team members to, to, run, to, 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 to help manage these projects. That means finding subcontractors to help execute on these projects. You can't just sit back and think, you're taking our subcontractors, you're working on our contract, you're working on the organization's with the organization's team members and then commanding all these these big salaries like you need to come in and, and build something like build it like build find more more subcontractors that's what we need help for like we need pay, we need good paying subcontractors new floor, good flooring co- subcontractors good HVAC subcontractors good electrical subcontractors they're out there the same way we've we found the ones that we have there's hundreds of them out there we just need to find them we need to attract them we need to align them to the organization we need to get them ingrained into the organization and when you do that like i'm totally good with paying you and compensating you more and aligning you more with the business but it's not just like hey i want to make this and i'm and it's like literally five times what or, or or four times or three times or whatever one time of what the industry standard is for, for that specific position. Like, no, if you want to, if you want to get to the next level and go to the next position and the next position and the next position, then you need to start taking on the task and the responsibilities and adding the value that those positions add. And then we can start having the conversation because there's team members that are in the organization that did exactly that. They added value, the added value, the added value, the added value. And then it's like, Dude, I like nobody's stupid. Like we gotta give, we gotta, we gotta take care of this person. We gotta incent, we gotta, we gotta um, add additional incentives to this person because this person's just adding so much. They're so valuable to the organization. They're adding so much value to the organization. They're doing whatever it takes. I'm super excited to be around them. I like working with them. I, I like it's a no brainer to c- continue to compensate that person to continue to. And bonus incentivize that person. It's a no brainer for the organization. Why? Because they add a value in abundance of what they're as what what like what what they're even asking for slash slash um what they're what they're what like what what the what the market would even would even would even pay that person. So it's like of course we're gonna compensate you way over that. Because you're crushing, you're doing everything that you need to do in the organization. So don't let these employees intimidate you. Don't let these team members intimidate you. You have to be able to sit there and have the conversation, align them to the business, let them know what the opportunities are, say if you, how they can address those opportunities, go after those opportunities, um, be intentional about those opportunities that then will create the, 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 the income generation to be able to compensate you more. I'm totally good paying people more. I want to pay people millions of dollars a year because I know if I'm paying them millions of dollars a year, I know what we're, we're we're creating as an organization. All right. So with that, go out there and build a massive team, align the team and, and go out there and continue to build your legacy. Let's roll.